<clears throat> okay. I wanted to explain how I do the uh, water density test. You're going to need your meteorites, a cup of water, a digital scale, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Put your rock on and you write down 71 grams. Then you weigh your water and it is 1000 grams. Then Put your meteorite on a string. I use a rubber band and then a string is much easier, especially if you're doing lots. And it is 1017. 1017. So then you subtract the water difference. which gives you 17. That's how that's the difference between the two. Then you divide that into the 71 grams. Divide it into 17 and you get 4.176. 4.176. So the way I'm going to test this again is I'm going to, this is from the same rock. It's a totally different weight and I should come up with the same number. Okay, so I've got the other piece on. Oops. I'm going to start this over. So weigh your rock. Thirty-four. Weigh your water again. A thousand. Oh. God. Weigh your rock. One zero zero eight. So you take that and that's, you come up with eight. So you say 39 divided by eight equals 4.8. So, uh, and we'll try another one, another known rock. So this is the next one. This was the second meteorite I found. So that's 23 grams. Add the water. Should be a thousand still. Add your meteorite. 10004. That's supposed to be there. And that's zero. So that number is four. And 23 divided by four equals 575. So that shows that anything that's above three points or three uh, of the density is a meteorite.